changes are coming to the city's controversial high school admissions policies. There's going to be more emphasis now on good grades. But CBS 2's political reporter Marsha Kramer says some parents say this new plan doesn't go far enough. Protests of de Blasio era education policies that sought to end the gifted and talented program and merit based admission standards are nothing new. But now, schools chancellor David Banks is seeking to undo de Blasio's fuzzy math with new schools for the gifted and high school admissions based on good grades. It's a new day. The chancellor's message to parents is merit is back. If a young person is working their tail off every single day and they get a 99 average, and they're seeking to go into one of these screen schools. That ought to be honored. Banks addressing parental outrage over the fact that many top students had trouble getting into the city's coveted so-called screened high schools that are believed to be more academically rigorous. About 126 of the city's 444 high schools fall into that category. Under the new policy, the top 15 percent of students in each middle school and the top 15 percent citywide will be given first-tier access to the screened schools. They will have to have a grade point average of 90 or better. Seats not filled by those students will be open to the next tier and so on. Mona Davids of the New York City Parents Union says that while it's a good start, the chancellor needs to add an objective measure like standardized tests. A middle school in the South Bronx, a student that's in the top 15 percent of that school it, it, it may not be, um, you know, on the same level, academic level, as a student from a district to school. District 2 is in Manhattan. Parents there have the same concern that it's not good enough to just measure grades. But they're happy that the chancellor is moving to undo the de Blasio era lotteries. I think parents had no appetite to play DOE Powerball another year. I think we've come a long way from last year. And I think he acknowledges, as do we, that merit matters. But if her son doesn't get into a screen school, Robin Paul Kelleher says... We will explore other options, such as moving. Some parents I spoke to say they will also consider sending their kids to private or parochial schools. In the newsroom, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And also on the drawing board are plans to open three new accelerated learning academies for gifted students in underserved communities. They will be located in the South Bronx, Ocean Hill, Brownsville, and Southeast Queens, and they'll open in the fall of 2024.